In this session, we will discuss Fischer cipher or Fischer structure. Generally, this Fischer cipher follows a block cipher approach. Block cipher means divide the text into different number of blocks, performs operations on each block. Now, coming to this Fischer cipher, this Fischer cipher divides the plain text into two equal halves. Suppose if it is not possible in, to divide into two equal halves, some add some padding bits to make them equal. So general procedure is for Fischer cipher, if the plain text is divided into two halves, suppose the first half is represented, that is left half is represented some li minus 1 and right half is represented by using ri minus 1. According to Fischer structure, these part and these parts contain same number of bits. Perform some operation on right half. Suppose perform some function. Here the function depends on the particular algorithm we are using. For example, if we are using DES algorithm, data encryption standard, we are using one type of algorithm. If we are using idea, we are using one type, low fish, cash. So depending on algorithm, the function changed. But all algorithm follows the similar logic. For function, we are applying some key. On right part, we are applying some function along with some key. After completion of result, it produces, sorry, after completion of calculation, it produces some result. Now, this result is XR with, that is perform XR operation with this result and this result. After performing XR operation, we are getting a new result. This new result becomes Ri. That is the right part for next iteration. And the previous Ri minus 1 becomes Li. Previous Ri minus 1 becomes Li. After completion of one iteration, this is Fischer cipher. Suppose in the same iteration, next to this Li or Ri, Perform function or this Ri and execute XR operation with Li and that becomes right part and the previous Ri becomes Li plus 1. So in symptomatic format, simply Li is equal to Li is equal to Ri minus 1. That is the previous right part becomes the left part and Ri is equal to Ri is equal to Li minus 1, Li minus 1, XR with Li minus 1. One input is Li minus 1 and second input is a function. So, XR with function of Ri minus 1 comma some key k. So, Ri part is XR of left integration and by applying some function to Ri minus 1. This is a Fischer cipher. The parameters that we are follow on Fischer cipher is simply the parameters are first number of rounds. Almost maximum algorithms follows Fischer cipher. Depends on algorithm, it changes the number of rounds. So, num either number of rounds increases. Suppose, for example, this is round 1. We are applying function, we are getting 1 round. If the number of rounds increases, complexity also increases. That is, when the complexity increases, the attacker, it is very difficult for the attacker or cryptanalyst. So, number of rounds increases, increases the security of the algorithm. General preferable number of rounds are 16. Generally, 16 number of rounds are preferable. Once number of rounds are identified, next we have to identify block size. So, here Fischer cipher follows block technique. That is, the total text is divided into different number of blocks. If block size is increases, security also increases. But, if the block size is much larger, Block size is much larger. Both encryption and decryption performance decrease. So we have to select 
subpixel block size generally block size of 16 bytes is preferable here 16 is the number of rights here 16 bytes 16 bytes of each block size is preferable next once block size has repeated key to perform operation we have to apply some key so here key size is also very important factor if key size is very large it is difficult for the cryptanalyst to identify the key that is to attack the particular key so generally key size is preferable key size is 128 bit key any key is acceptable but according to service the preferable key size is 128 bit and for each and every round this is the original key we are using to perform operation but for each and every round the key has to be changed for example 128 bit key for round 1 we are applying only 4 keys round 2 we are applying some round 3 we are applying some other keys how we are applying the keys we will discuss in a DES cast 128 bluefish in next classes so if key is 128 bits for each round we have to generate sub keys for each round we have to generate sub keys the complexity of the algorithm must be greater to generate sub keys that is it is not possible for the attacker to identify the sub keys this is a official cipher approach these are the parameters to be considered for each and every algorithm for example, for DES algorithm, number of rounds 16 plain text that is a block size, the plain text size is 64 bits, key, key in DES algorithm is 64 bits, sub key, for each round we are applying only 48 bits key, that is a sub key of size 48 only, so this is the procedure of Feastal cipher. In the next session, we will discuss the remaining algorithms that uses either Feastal cipher and that doesn't use Feastal cipher approach. Thank you.